Okay, folks, uh, this is Joe with Steel Blade Woodworks, and what I'm going to show you today is how to configure your Xbox wireless remote uh, game control uh, to get it to run in Mach 4 with your Avid CNC machine. So the first thing you want to do is open up a browser, and I uh, already got stuff pulled up, but you want to pull up this site here or this software download which is anti mic excuse me anti micro dash two point two three dash win thirty two uh dot msi so once you type that into your URL hit uh search you're gonna come down here and you're gonna get on this one right here this GitHub and you'll click on that and it'll bring you over to this site here okay and you're gonna come down here and you're gonna download this anti micro 2.23 what just basically what you typed in the URL once you do that let your file download open it and go through the process let it run and what you'll notice then is you'll notice that you'll have the anti micro here on your desktop and before you open it and some it may be open already and it's going to show blank because you don't have you'll just have just the box with some uh, options on it and it won't show anything on it because you haven't uh, sunk your your uh, game control to your computer if you did already your gaming control pads going to show up on there and you'll see in the next few uh, steps how it how it does but if you haven't Let's go ahead and go through the steps to sync your wireless remote uh, gaming control to your PC. So you come down here to start, go to settings, and then you're going to go into devices and Bluetooth. You're going to hit add a Bluetooth device. Click on Bluetooth. And then what you're going to do here is you're going to, there's a button here on this uh, Xbox remote that you're going to hold down for three seconds and it's going to start making this globe looking xbox uh flash real quick it'll start flashing then the computer will pick it up and uh once it picks it up click on it here once it shows it here i'm not going to do it because mine sunk up already and uh click on it and it'll add it in and then just go ahead and close this out and then you'll see the Xbox wireless controller connected okay once that's done let's go ahead and close this out then we're gonna go back up here into the desktop and we're gonna double click on anti micro pull it up and now your controller all your hotkeys for your controller are on here these are your your joysticks your your left and right joysticks and then you've got a pad here that's here. My suggestion to you is not to use the joysticks and, and make them hotkeys because any little bump, as once you get your machine set up or whatever you're doing, any little bump's going to jog it. And these are very touchy. Okay, So I wouldn't suggest you do anything with these. I'd say just leave them with no keys selected to them. I would stick to just the keypad here or just the pad. Um, it's a little harder to uh, hit and make something happen. So now the next process here, uh, what we're going to do now that this is all uh, connected, it's very simple here. So the up, up position here on the pad, all you have to do is come in here and click on this and it's going to pop up the keyboard as it's on your for your computer so up up will move your on the on the actual keyboard up will move your y axis in the positive direction down moves it in the negative direction and the same goes for left and right arrows left will move your x in the negative position or to to the negative and right will move it to the positive and then you got page up page down which will uh, raise and lower your z-axis or spindle and that those 
just by pressing those, it's going to move at the rate you have it set in, in Mach 4. Now, y'all should know, or if you don't, when you hit shift and up, shift left, shift down, shift right, that moves it at the max speed that that your machine whether you have NEMA 23s or NEMA 34s what it'll what it'll it, it just moves it at the max speed that it, that's allowed through the program same thing for page up shift up shift page up shift page down will move your z-axis or your spindle up and down at the fastest rate it can so the way I did mine if we close this out go back to the keypad I'm gonna I'm gonna use the up and down arrows and keep them the same way they are on the keyboard so up will move the Y in the positive direction. Down arrow will move it in the negative direction. So we'll just go ahead and hit the key here, populate this, and we'll just simply just select up arrow. Now it is programmed in there. That simple. Go down here to this key, select down. Now it's down. So that signifies the down arrow on the keypad on the keypad that would be the same down arrow on your keyboard so that moves a y in the negative direction and then we'll go over here to this one and that program that we're going to program that to move it your x-axis in the negative direction so we'll just click that boom it's there same thing over here right it's programmed okay so now your key your pad is set up to move your x and y axis okay so let's say um you want to do now we haven't moved the z-axis so let's say let's make the hot keys for the z-axis um the x a x b so we can set up x and a as your normal speed whatever you have mach 4 set up as and then we can set y b y being a page up at the high rate of speed and B being uh, page down at a high rate of speed, at the highest speed that it can can go. And then, you know, just to reiterate, X and A will be page up, page down at normal speeds, whatever Mach 4 or whatever you have your rate set up at, okay? So, very simple to do. So, when we're going to do X at the normal page up speed, all we need to do is go in here and push it on your, on your controller, and it's going to highlight it right there and it says X okay so you're just gonna click it and you're gonna set that up as page up and we're gonna do a which is right above it click on it and that'll be your page down so that way it's set up X up which is on top a down which is on bottom and those are your, whatever you have mock for at your jog rate set up at and these are all what you have it set up in the machine so let's go at a high rate of speed now and we want to use the y for page up and the b for page down now these are a little different because you got to put two options in there so y is going to be our page up but we want to use that for the high rate or the max jogging rate that Mach 4 will allow you so we click here just signifying it so we're just going to click on it and go ahead and put make it shift so now you see shift right there but we need to add page up to that so how are you gonna do that we're gonna click it again down here at the bottom left corner you got advanced settings click on advance so you got right it's shift okay click on this button here and go ahead and just hit page up on your keyboard and now it sits page up so now you got shift page up so that's gonna move that's going to jog your z-axis at the highest rate allowed through Mach 4. So you're going to hit close, and now that's done. Close this out, and now you have your Y set for shift page up. Okay, so let's set B for page down, so it's right above it. Click B, hit shift, and now we need to add page down, so we're going to click it again. Come down here to advanced settings. We're going to click on this empty box here, and we're going to simply hit page down on the keyboard. Boom. There it is. Shift page down. Close it. Close it. And now B is set up for shift page down, which is going to move your Z axis at the highest rate 
at the highest jogging rate that Mach 4 will allow you. So let's say we haven't set anything up to move your X and Y axis at the high rate of speed. We just have the keypad or the pad here set up for just normal rates of whatever jogging rates you have set up at 25%, 50%, 75% on Mach 4. So let's go ahead and let's make this trigger finger or the trigger key, finger key, finger trigger, the uh, trigger, however you want to call it. On the left side, let's go ahead and just make that shift, okay? So we'll go ahead and click on it. And this is a little different than what you've seen. And you're probably gonna be like, well, how do we change this one? Very easy. You just go here to no key, click on it, and boom, it populates the board. And all you're gonna do here is just enter shift. Now it's set up, and that hot key is a shift key now. So go ahead and close it out. So if you wanna move your X and Y axis fast, you would hit the trigger plus your keypad option. Now that's going to move that gantry in all four directions, whichever way you want, at a high rate of speed. And then if you want to slow down, just let it go, and you go back to your normal speeds that way. Um, you can configure this if you want to use the, the joysticks. That's totally up to you. Um, you can configure these for the same thing. Say you want to use this control here. Let's just do another one. We'll put this up and we'll we'll set it as a as an up arrow. Now it's up. Same thing here. Down. It's there. Go right on that one. There. Left. There. So if you want to use a shift key and then the toggle switch to maneuver your, your gantry around, well there you go, your X and your Y. You can do it that way. I suggest you don't use this because this is going to be very touchy and you can end up jogging your machine after you done tried to set it up or done something, you know. Uh, the only other thing that I can, uh, you know, there's many options on here which you can configure it at, uh, is the right trigger, the finger trigger. You can set that up for your, um, uh, for your, uh, what is it? Control. Yes, control will allow you to do your incremental moving. So you just go here and we would hit no key and then hit control. And now it's set up for control. So whatever you have your incremental movement set in Mach 4, you have that hot key now set up here and then you can press whatever you want whatever you've set up to to do the incremental moving on your machine so this is pretty good uh i i think this is just awesome uh this anti-micro uh software and um, it lets you set up the keys however you want anything on here you can make it a whatever hot key you want uh off that keyboard and so the next thing you would do once you get it all set up the way you want it okay uh you would come in here and hit uh save and go ahead and name it however you want to name it like uh you know game control avid cnc profile one whatever you want to name it okay and then once you save it then you want to come up here to options and this is very important here so it'll so it'll stay and you want to come in and go ahead and hit, uh, you want to click on close the tray, launch. This one's very important. Launch at Windows Startup. And you want to have these last three picked. This is how I have it set up on mine, and it works fine. So once you do this, you hit OK, and now it's set up. So what happens here is at the start of Windows, it runs this program in the background and you don't have to do add this plugin or anything to Mach 4 all that happens is this is running in the background at startup once you start Mach 4 this device here this wireless remote or gaming control acts as your keyboard because you have it programmed to 
the keyboard settings. So it does everything you want it to do and move that CNC around. And this is a neat setup to do it this way. Um, there's some re you did some research and 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 one one guy that helped out a lot and he touched on this was Jay Bates and uh I wanted to do just a little bit more on it and and just kind of put my own video out so I hope y'all find this useful um if you have any questions please comment below and uh if you like what you see subscribe and hit that bell uh and, and that way you get notified whenever we set out another video and uh, we've got some other content out already and hopefully that you know uh, we're fixing to set out uh, send out some more videos on the assembly of that avid pro 48 by 48 machine so that being said uh hopefully you like it and comment below let me know what you think if you have any other questions i'm willing to help you out as best as i can that being said Thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye now.